get started. We are live and we are recording. Hello, everybody. Oh God. Welcome to Hello. Our, our second ever live show, the Chaotic Goodness Podcast. You've all made a terrible mistake. We're sorry for your choices. <laughs> <laughs> but only stick time, around. Only time will tell who made the worst mistake. Was it us or them? Or, or was it the lovely ruining board down here in downtown Hillsboro, Oregon? No, it's never their fault. No, it's it's always fault. James's fault. I mean, it's a go-to, as my wife says. So <laughs> He's the youngest person here. So That's true. Not. That's true. So there we go. what's going to happen tonight, also just like we did, just like we do with all of no, our no. live shows, got you is we're Not going to ask the audience Andy some can. questions. We are going to create uh, a scene that we're going to play through today. Uh, we have no idea what's going on. I'm sure these guys don't know either. But before, nope. we ahead, <laughs> before we go ahead and get started with that, how many people in the audience actually listen to the Chaotic Goodness podcast? Woo. Two people. Woohoo! Yes! Right. Yeah. Yeah. Totally yeah. get a hobby. Like, yeah. seriously, worst decision ever. That's great. <laughs> so, uh, Steve, what, what is the Chaotic Goodness podcast? What do we do? Uh, all kinds of things. All right, Chrissy. Super wow. <laughs> that was deep. That was <laughs> we fly around on a ship and cause havoc when we try to help. We are that is comedic so all improv space opera actual play podcast. I think oh, that's, that's what he was going. That's what he was going. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's what too. we do. I'm yeah. going to write that down for future efforts. Yeah. I've always wondered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, actually, and today we just released episode 63. Excellent. Woo-hoo! So yeah, Woo. so you can listen to us anywhere that people usually listen to podcasts mm-hmm. uh, in a few places where you shouldn't. Church. Also, not family friendly. Just yeah, kidding. never church. Honest, we're very not we'll make ever. Clear to those that are confused. <laughs> don't don't no. let your children listen to us. I'm a terrible human being. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm not sorry. <laughs> He's uh, not sorry. So, for our audience to have a better idea about you know kind of what to what tortures to put us through, let's talk about. Uh, well, let's let's do start with the introductions. <laughs> introduce yourself Four and games. introduce who you're playing, and a couple of words to describe your. <coughs> Uh, we'll start with James. Why am I going first? I because you're all the table. way at the end. Fair. I mean, <laughs> your logic is sound. Fuck you. <laughs> My name's James. Um, I play Ed Tall. He is the ship's pilot and all-around charismatic face guy. Uh, he is a, or has a symbiote. He's a host of a symbiote that has lived multiple lifetimes. So he has a wealth of experience that he neglects to tap into on a regular basis. And Accurate. knows a litany of languages. In fact, all of them. So, Super charming. But still an asshole. Oh, totally. Right. He's yeah. the asshole you love, but you also hate. You know no. that friend? He's that no. no. <laughs> He's the only asshole that knows how to fly yeah. the ship. He's the asshole. Hey, y'all cut sling load on Will Bilson for him, so. Uh, there we go. Mm. All right. Next. Challenge accepted. Uh, so, my name is Steven. I play Dr. Arthur Ezekiel III. I'm the ship's doctor's sort of owner. Sort of doctor. Sort, sort of doctor, <laughs> sort of owner. <laughs> sort of um, captain. Sort of. Well, you know, only with Dr. Captain, calls. sir. Uh, they don't let me fly the ship because I tend to run it into things um, or, or disable the engine in other various ways. I do my best to keep the crew up and running, um, sometimes medically, sometimes socially, but usually I fail miserably at both of those things. And inappropriate And we snacks. don't make it easy oh, for you. Oh, inappropriate snacks. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, don't go rooting through the refrigerator. Um, and uh, that was episode sixty. <laughs> and I'm also I'm, I'm also a clone, but we haven't explored a whole lot of the clone story yet. We're getting to it. Yet. Yes, we're working on the on the clone stuff. Okay. 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 I'm Christy, and I play Ren, and Ren is strong. <laughs> and that's about and it. likes oatmeal. <laughs> well, she likes she does. to eat. She likes to eat and under pressure. And <laughs> she's not a cannibal. <laughs> except when she has everybody, to be. Except for when it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's mm-hmm. um, she has robotic arms because she lost her arms. Two cannibals. She did not eat them. <laughs> Somebody else. 
That's what she says yes. anyway. And she's not very socially uh, aware. True story. Yeah. True story. And, and she's strong. And yes, she's and she's and strong. strong. Yeah. All yes. right. Next. And I'm Kim, and I play Flossie. And um, Flossie is a human and alien hybrid, and the alien race is called the Elitsi. And um, she is a psychic assassin. And she's extremely competent. And yes, she's a competent flyer pilot person and likes to shoot stuff. Yeah. She's a good shot. She really likes to shoot Z. stuff. <laughs> and she likes bubbles yeah. <laughs> and tea and her new ball pit. Yes. She actually is the owner of the war the galaxy's largest ball pit, which is located in between the walls of a space cruiser. Yes. It's a very low bar to Achievement drive. unlocked. <laughs> and I am galaxy's Chad. I'm the game master kind of of this game. Uh, this is my circus and these are my monkeys. Uh, That's the NPC a really good that, description. Yeah. The, the the crew member NPC that I play is Gideon Nyko. He is the engineer. He's a genius. His best friend is an AI, and he gets picked on a lot. Mostly because his best friend is an AI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he has the best shower on board. So he also gets some sweet with cuddles. bubbles in it. Sweet, Everyone sweet cuddles uses my shower. I don't like that. Anyway, okay. So that's a little bit about the. Tr oh, and what's the name of our ship? Oh, the irritated, uh, badger. the irritated badger. The irritated badger. That's we are the crew of the irritated badger. Yes. Like he didn't know. Like fly around the galaxy, <laughs> trying to make a living, and end up getting what involved kind of in crime <laughs> sprees and oh, crap. general <laughs> terrible stuff. And on the side of the ship is an anthropomorphic badger whose name is Honey, naturally. But it's not weird. No, of course yes. not. Wow. Nothing we do is weird. Yeah. Right, well, it is, weird. but if you take it all into context, it's toast normal. Right, yeah, yeah. Not weird so, by our standards. Let's, oh, okay. let's open it up to our audience then. We're so sorry. We are, sorry. This is going to start with us. More We're going to start in the middle of some More action. Data. We are... The crew's going somewhere. Where Are we going to a planet or a space station or something else that's more interesting? What's going on? A new moon. There a it new is. moon, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. A new moon. All right. Um, Note made. Why are we going to this moon? Fuel run. A fuel run. We're going to go to this moon to refuel. Okay. Sweet gas station. Check. Okay. Yeah. A lunar, I need jerky. A lunar gas station that Spurky? is known for its Spurky. space jerky. Spurky. 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 Space jerky. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fuel run. Spurky. Yeah. Slurpees. 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 <laughs> Sperky and Slurpees. Yes. Sperky and Sperky, Slurpees. Sperky, Slurpees, and Slim Jims. <laughs> I can dig it. Slim Jim. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We like to add spuck to the front of everything. Yes. So we, we have a we have a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Splim. It's not a problem. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, it's only that's a problem what they call that, like you know, when you do something. I mean, you run into a few words that it gets difficult on, but otherwise, it's great fun. We have so, discovered some bad ones. Yeah. 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 So the ship is low on fuel. We're stopping at this moon station to refuel, but unbeknownst to the rest of the crew, there's there's a complication. There's something unexpected that is either on this moon, lying in wait, or just a natural feature of the moon. What what is it? Can be either clowns or giant lizards. alien form that is nearly the size of the moon that grabs anything that goes past. The moon has a guardian? Yeah. That's like not a, good. Like a Scylla Charybdis sort of a situation? Yeah, it's like, it's like lodged permanently into one space. Kind of like a giant hermit <laughs> crab. Kind of in the moon. <gasps> yes. Oh. It is like oh. And so the, the, the gas station is just. It's a like a hermit crab? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. A spermic crab? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that we would just go ahead and use. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Hermit crab. Hermit crab. Hermit crab. 
Sprabs? Sprabs? Sprabs. This planet has Sprabs? This, this moon has Sprabs. <laughs> this is a Sprab, apparently. This fuel station has Sprabs. Better. The word you're looking for is better. <laughs> this seems bad fuel? for business. It's like predatory and just trying to kill everyone, although it really doesn't like... So wait, is there an actual fuel station and they're just like really trying to like buy bu- bu- like the so worst location ever? Like this works out great. It's because it's in the middle of this. Like there's two the big straight stretches between the next fuel stations. So they figured this yeah. is prime territory. Yeah. Except for the, the hermit sprout. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. But they just need some nice adventurers. Land is cheap. So does this <laughs> does this hermit uh, crab lunar species ooh, have a name? An option too. We'll, we'll get to that. Hermit we'll get to that. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead and get started then. So we are. Motherfuck. <laughs> so the badger, the badger reverts to real space, and we're slow boating it <coughs> to this station because oh, the, the fuel gauge is a bit low there uh, and tall. I told you we needed to fill up before we left, but no, jump and still make it. I'm not the one that decided to put less than five dollars worth in. I was the only one with like actual hard currency at the point, okay? Their system was down, we couldn't trade anything. I we had. Well, check the scanners. Is there like a fueling depot or somewhere out in this empty blackness of space? There, there seems to be a moon nearby that I don't know about, but it says they have fuel. There's a little beacon. Spons. Is that like Spool station. Spoogle, Spoogle maps? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's horrifying. Gas near me. Space Bob's Space Mule Station. Whatever you do, space. don't Spoogle yourself. <laughs> Too late. At least the Too late, they have Sparky and Slurpees. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man, it's been a long that time stuff is good. Sparky. Right? Yum. Yeah. It's a, I never want to know what's in it. I just throw that out there. So, so what? Like, Trust me. Does Flossy just know. jump out of the air vent at the top? Of course. <laughs> Slurpees? <laughs> You're talking about my scary, scary scary scary. Scary. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so hands on, you get on the, the comms and let everybody know that we're going to make a quick pit stop? Yeah. All right. Hey, guys, we're, we're, we're going to go get Sparky and Slurpees and Spuel. Oh, do, will they have the blue one? I don't know. Yes. Blueberry? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> or is it Splue Raspberry? Splue Raspberry. Splue Raspberry Splue. is. <laughs> now, is it a Slurpee or a Spicy? I think you're just making stuff up. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's, it's called cool. improv. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Z. Where did that fourth wall go? <laughs> All right, great. So, uh, it's all are you going to... Let me stop you right there. Right there. <laughs> what am I rolling? Uh, just a... Well, you know how to land a spaceship, yeah, I assume. So right. I'm not, not going to make you roll. Okay. I'm not the one flying, so nobody has to roll. <laughs> <laughs> are you within 30 feet of the cockpit? Probably. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. So you know Flossie is. She's like come in, yes! come in for a landing. <laughs> you land in front of the uh, the refueling depot, and so wait. So we're this is a moon. Is there any atmosphere on this moon? We're gonna have to get person. into our Evo suits just to go inside <laughs> of the convenience store. Suit sounds funnier than. Okay, so everybody, we have to. So, Kitty's like, yeah. so, I like this guy. <laughs> no Atmo. So, Spatmo, sorry. Gideon's looking at the readouts. He's like, so there's no atmosphere between the ship and the gas station. It, it's only like 150 meters. We'll be fine. Well, yeah, we'll hold my what? No, 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 no. Well, no, duh. We're <laughs> oh, fine. So, puts on his. Uh, Evo. Is that your Evo suit? Futuristic. Yes. Yes. Whatever. That's the Evo suit sound. How does that go again? I don't remember. Uh huh. Everybody, is everybody going to go? I'm also. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So, Convenience store. We are. The truck stops. And it, it, well, it's going to have an airlock too. Somebody has been store. left behind because they don't That'd want be to. That'd be pretty rad. Yeah, so the station doesn't have an airlock that we dock with the ship. We have to park and then moonwalk <laughs> all the way to the station. That's all, please Thank stop you. 
<laughs> I've got a sparkly glove. It's fine. <laughs> Turning down the volume. <laughs> and everybody slowly bounces so into the go. convenience store. And so <laughs> I'm assuming since this is the only fueling depot that's around here for maybe light years, uh, this is probably a pretty deluxe one. Like you could go in there, you could probably buy t-shirts and trucker hats and but given the space scenario, Walmart. it'd be woefully, space woefully Walmart. slower yeah. than we would expect, too. The ball oh, machines in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yes. Uh, so, but inside this gas station, there's a, there's a fairly semi-popular, uh, I'm thinking like, because in most gas stations, they have like really like shitty fast food places that other people get really excited about. So what is, what is popular in our galaxy that's a really shitty fast food thing that you only find in fueling depots? White What's Castle. the name of it and what do they sell? White Castle. White Castle? <laughs> White Castle? White oh, Castle. Oh, gosh. We need to space it up a little bit. And they just scoot around on their little propeller things. <laughs> <laughs> Little propeller things. <laughs> that's awesome. Right. So we have, to, we, have to, we have to space it up a little bit. And since we're live streaming it, we can't say anything trademark. So maybe White Citadel? Uh, uh, White Citadel Station. Sonic. White Citadel Meat Paste Sandwiches. Hey, there you go. There we go. <laughs> mm. Fried synonyms for meat paste white. sandwiches. It's comfort food. So. A blanco? <laughs> to who? I, I don't know. Somebody is really excited about it. Not that. No, you're White right. Citadel Meat Paste Sandwiches. I mean, it's food. It is food. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's edible. Food. edible. It's food. So Ren probably needs more calories because it, you know, takes a lot, burns a lot of calories using those cybernetic arms of hers. Do they have a spubway? Mm -hmm. No, there's no spubway. It's White Citadel. Spubway? Spubway. Okay. So Ren goes and gets some food. Uh, everybody else just kind of like disseminates and goes shopping, and something, something shiny catches Flossie's eye, and. Gideon is left behind to kind of do the whole refueling process, so that's well. fine. He's an NPC. He doesn't really get involved in much anyway. So <laughs> what wish. are the rest of y'all doing? So refueling might take a little bit of time. What are y'all interested in? What are you interacting with? Um, Flossie is going up and down the aisles of the convenience store. Are you looking at anything, or are you just running Everything. Okay, everything. Okay. Yes. Flossie, Flossie, we look what? with our eyes, not with our hands. But look at this! It's yeah. like a... Okay, yeah. I don't... Wait, hang on. It's what are we going to do with it? Oh, it's a candy bar. It's a candy bar. It's a candy bar? It's shiny. Oh. The wrapper's really shiny. Okay. I'm getting Slurpees. Have Slurpees. you had... Oh, oh. How many How many flavors of Slurpees do they have? Good question. Anyone? Anyone? I'm keeping the candy bar. Nine. <gasps> one of each it is. Gas. Uh, the ultimate graveyard or Slurpee. No, no, no. One individual oh, one Slurpee individual. of each flavor. Not one Slurpee. So it's like a nine-layer Slurpee. Not a nine-layer Slurpee. You got to enjoy each individual. No, that's what Flossie's doing. You're getting the a suicide. Yeah. All right. All right. I appreciate like your the dedication. biggest cup possible and just layering it. <laughs> Like one of those Mardi Gras necklaces. That right, right. The, right. the big right. giant, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Flossie, I want you to give me a luck roll. <coughs> uh oh. <laughs> she's psychic, she can handle it. No, she's going to give her brain oh freeze. Oh my to all god, of us. a to psychic so give brain freeze? <laughs> Everybody gets that would brain freeze. Yeah, so so you're, you're drinking this thing, right? Yes. Okay, give me a <laughs> All of a sudden, that's the sound of regret. I heard it. <laughs> Never. <laughs> yes? <laughs> that was fear, not regret. Ah, of course. Okay. So, God. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> yeah. So, dear audience. Oh, God. Flossie, being a hybrid species, she's a human and a litzy. The litzy side of her reacts strangely to the Slurpee. What reaction does Flossie have? Aphasia. Aphasia? <laughs> we need to stop up on this. We're here for the <laughs> Really? Hey, our kind of doctor. <laughs> So, so you drink a Slurpee and now you can't speak. That's not going to stop communicating right? with us. Can't, no, it's, you can't stop talking. 
Can't stop. Oh, oh, oh yes. mother of <laughs> fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. My so mistake. we don't notice anything different about No. <laughs> well, the, guy, the only guy who answered said that she gets the kind of aphasia where she does not stop talking at all. Perfect. So, uh, all right, go for it. <laughs> you guys, oh my god, you guys, have you tried this? It's so amazing. I got the strawberry, and I got the raspberry, and I got the blueberry, and I got this... This cola stuff? I don't know. It's pretty cool. And there's a lemon lime, and there's a root beer, and then there's a cream soda, and where's Rin? Rin has to try this Rin stuff. Rin is going to go take a shower in the showers to see what that's like and get away. At least they didn't have banana flavor. It's going to be quiet. Of course they have banana flavor. Uh, in fact, that one's on top. Flavor. Showers in a <laughs> truck stop is, you know, weird. It's classy. Yeah. <coughs> so, so you have to go in and you gotta, you have to uh, have your credits so it unlocks, and then mm -hmm. you go in and it is. Give me a luck roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um. Do you feel lucky? Punk. Luck. No, I don't. Four. <laughs> it's occupied. <laughs> it's <a story> <laughs> yes. so possibly the galaxy's worst <laughs> truck stop shower, and then the door closes behind you, and sparks shoot out of the console, and the door's stuck shut. <laughs> the lights flickering. It's like it looks like like a. Like a, a level from Silent Hill. Oh, it's like home. Reminds you of your home planet. Uh, all the comforts of home. Yeah, there we go. That's so, so sweet. Are you going to go ahead and shower? Or I might as well. Okay. <laughs> she ain't scared. We'll, we'll come back to that. Make sure you wear your flip flops. Okay, it's bad. Hey Zeke, 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 hey, yeah. hey Zeke, yeah. hey Zeke, yeah. look, yeah. I found more candy bars, okay. and I found chips, okay. and and I found, I don't know what this is, what is this? Hental's just going to walk out with the Slurpees after he paid. And, hey, hey, hey Hental. Gideon, I got you Did on. You get, Hental, you go. Hental. <laughs> oh my god, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> Flossie is talking way more than usual and put that in context. Anyways, I got you a Slurpee. Ooh, Slurpee. Thank you. <laughs> what flavor do you give Gideon? Whatever one he wants. I got one of each. Your choice. Do you want blue raspberries, banana, sponge, sperry, sprape, spola? Whichever one, which number it gets. There we go. Oh, I have to assign well, there's a number. Number. <laughs> It's behind yeah, the computer. Does somebody actually have a D10? Oh, there it is. Hey, it's right here. Right. I got one. Orange. Oh. I rolled a three. You get sponge. Sponge. Ooh, my favorite. Mine too. Mm -hmm. Next to blue raspberry. <laughs> All right. So what kind of monster drinks is sponge one. So Flossie, the only other person inside this gas station right now is Zeke mm -hmm. and the the station attendant. Mm -hmm. Let's describe the attendant. Ooh. I don't I don't like him being human or him or her or it being human. So let's 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 uh, workshop something creative. Describe this uh, truck stop attendant. Gelatinous. We've already had Perfect! That. Yes! Uh, <laughs> do the voice! Do the voice! Do so the a gelatinous voice. truck stop attendant, but. Uh, Lavosa. Shaped like the uh, alien from Alien vs. Predator. Oh, so it's a. Uh, so xenomorph. Gelatinous xenomorph? Yeah. Nice. Xenomorphs again. Yes. Xenomorph without the show. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a naked Dr. Zoidberg. <laughs> Ooh. Zoidberg. Interesting. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Does it have the multiple mouth thing going on? Uh, yeah. All right. So Flossie, uh, the yes. only people left in here are Zeke, Dr. Ezekiel, and the gelatinous xenomorphic truck stop attendant. Does he have a name tag on? Yes, it's kind of floating around inside of them. A little bit. <laughs> it floating inside um, of them. I'm not sure you can tell. He you know, needs a name. Gender doesn't matter to these things. Uh, it needs they a need name. a name. What's a what's a what's a good gelatinous beings name? Kevin. 
Kevin, yes. <laughs> there we go. First Hi, name Kevin, last name. <laughs> <laughs> or is it like because Blarg is obviously not a Kevin type of name. So perhaps it's like those call centers right. where oh, where people choose very plain English sounding names. No, so no, perhaps no. no. His mama named him Kevin. His mama named him yeah. Kevin. Okay. She liked it. It sounded exotic. <laughs> oh, one of them exotic Got human it. names. Yeah. Okay. This is Kevin. <laughs> Where is he gonna go in life named Kevin? Nice <laughs> <laughs> to be a truck stop attendant. Great. Right. Here we go. So you go up to Kevin? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, hey, how's it going? Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. I've never had this many flavors in one cup before. Oh my god, it's so amazing. Zeke. Yeah. What are we going to do? Are we going uh, we're gonna, to... We're going to pay Kevin. <coughs> we're going to pay Kevin. Okay, let's pay Kevin. Let's pay Kevin. Okay. I... My wallet... I don't... I don't I have my wallet. I will take care of paying Kevin again. This Thanks, time. Zeke. You're awesome, Zeke. I'm going to go out to the ship. Bye. Indeed, your space suit. Okay. <laughs> I got the thing inside the suit, like, tucked up like this. <laughs> 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 Just well, dump them all out in the helmets. You can just, just <laughs> suck it up like a one zero G. Just I don't think the there's enough pouch, oxygen slurpee, in. You know? No, yeah. there's not high enough oxygen content in the Slurpee for her to breathe it. So you keep yeah, pulling so it She's amphibious. But there's out. not enough oxygen content uh, in right, it. Right, but there's also like a wa- like a beverage. Like you know, you get hydrated if you're going to be in the space. Or she leaves the yeah, space. Yeah, it's, it's, no, Eventually it's more fun. It's, it's, it's just right it. here. Ooh, there's true. enough space. She's small. It fits right there. And then the straw. She stuck a straw inside the other straw so that it could like come up. Bend the straw. Right. So she's walking out going. <laughs> so as she as she hops out with her or just the, the, the hoppy space thingy out back to the ship, uh, Kevin looks over at you. And says that'll be thirty thousand credits. That's okay. Sure. Like, um, where else are you gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> are we going to be then your only customers this year? <laughs> well, more than likely. <laughs> No other idiots are stupid enough to run out of gas at this point in space, huh? Uh, there's other things. Uh, there's a slight moonquake that goes on. Like, ah, and the moonquake. Well, I was going to... No, gonna... I, was a, I just I had a big lunch. What? No, your big lunch doesn't normally knock things off the shelves over here. I don't... Are you familiar with my species? I, I've met a couple. <laughs> oh, wow, really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, one of them had a very interesting past with our pilot, but we're not going to get into that right now. We can. It was really exciting. There's a few videos made. I might have (laughs) (laughs) That's a different race altogether. If you'd like, I can give you a pretty good discount if you do something. I'm going to leave Careful, this on. is how mine started. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do it, do it, yes, do you it. I don't know what it is yet, but I don't care. Do okay. <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, I need you to to, to kill the the giant hermit sprab that lives in this mess. Um, <laughs> he stuck to it. <laughs> hermit sprab. Yes, big ship eating hermit sprab. Ship eating hermit sprab. Yeah. <laughs> You hear on the comms all of a sudden, it's like, guys, you, something's going on outside of here. Is it a ship eating hermit scrap? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not psychic, so. so. Everyone who's on the ship sees out of the viewport, so there's like this giant claw that's coming straight towards the irritated badger, and it's really huge and big, so it's a little small. It's slow. Okay. It's like a slow motion. Uh, since. Since your hermit scrab uh, <coughs> problem is now impacting me directly, yes, I will help. Adventurer. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so, and the ship is still in the process of being refueled. So this claw is coming towards the ship. So people on the ship, you need to think fast. Uh, Flossy, 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 yeah, Flossy. Yeah. Hey, how's it? 
How is it going? Put Splurpee down. We're going to the shuttle. We have to I shoot things. I can't put it down. We have to shoot things. It, but it's in my... You can't shoot and drink Splurpee at the same time. It's dangerous. Watch me. I'm leaving my suit on. Oh, Here we go. Okay. Here we go. What are we shooting at? Oh, my that God. Thing. That you thing that? is huge. You see that? That's what we're shooting. Okay, I'm, I'm going, going. Here I go, here I go. I'm off to shoot that thing. What is that thing, Hentong? I have no idea, but it wants to hurt us, so I'm going to shoot cares? it. Who cares? Just shoot at it. Okay, Gideon. Do you get up in the guns? God, yes. Okay. Uh, well, give me a roll. <laughs> no, that was just her own sound effects. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually going to take the shuttle off of the, the irritated badger and try to distract the... Okay. The, the hermit's breath <laughs> from the irritated badger. We'll, we'll get to you in a minute. All right. Hold okay. on. Second. So we need to roll uh, agility and <coughs> some kind of gunnery skill. Got it. Okay. Wait, can I use my flying skills to give her a better angle on the death claw? Wait, are you going to be taking off in the shuttle that has the gun? Yeah. Okay. That's the gun I was referencing. Get to the shuttle. So we're going to go... Well, well, she, she jumps the gun a bit, so she'll... Oh, shoot. so she's shooting a forward <laughs> attack. That makes sense. <laughs> she's <just> there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Happy thoughts. Let's do it. <coughs> All right, so let's see. We've got... 18. 18, so... That's about one away from success, so I'll give you the <laughs> option of you can either... Miss completely, Spend or, luck. or not too late, or the audience can come up with you succeed, but at a cost. Oh. Of course, they're gonna want to do that. <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> What's the cost? You spill your squirtie. Ah! Oh, oh, so cold. Oh. Right down. <laughs> you angle the guns and you fire at the I like you. hermit square. <laughs> nice cold bath. And you're, your chest and lap becomes very cold. <laughs> and a bit sticky. And sticky. <laughs> this is a feeling that you are kind of used to, actually. Right? <laughs> Her species is a friendly species. Except when they're not. Right. Yes. All right. So, yeah, so you're, you're firing the big guns, and you mm-hmm. are covered in sticky sweet syrup. Oh, man. And Hental, I want you to give me this a This is not cool. Roll. Oh my gosh, Hental, I spilled my Slurpee all down I my suit. I haven't even started flying on the yet. Inside. How did you do that? I, it, I did this thing with my arm. I was really excited and I just was doing this thing with my arms. And it just, it didn't, but I shot it though. Oh, oh, oh. Cool. All right, let's see what we can do then. Uh, hey, look at that. I have a lot. <coughs> Alright, here we go, Die Hard Dice. 6, 12, 17, 19, 20, 29. That's good enough. Alright, you, 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 you break away from the ship <laughs> and you fly out of the range of its claw as <laughs> fires at it and the, the blaster's hitting the claw distracts it enough from the irritated badger where now it's swiping at the shuttle. Gideon! Gideon! Fire missiles at the claw! The claw has to get in front of the tubes. I can't maneuver the ship while it's being fueled. The, the missiles lock on, right? Well, yeah, but we're docked. <laughs> There's a gas station in front of me. <laughs> Don't mind seeing that gas station. It's okay, I'll shoot again! Wait, wait, wait. How are we landed? Like, is... I figure they're just, you know, giant cables that came to the ship and plugged it in, and that's how we fuel them and called it good. Well, yeah, there's a big fueling line going into the <sighs> ship, but right. everything else is open space. So yeah. Gideon's like, so, well, I mean, I, I could try to calculate so it angles, it turns more sharply than they normally would. <coughs> if I, I fail, can, they'll hit the gas station. You want me to try to pull the claw further away from the station so they have more room to maneuver? Yeah, that would work. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. Flossie, keep pissing it off. Okay. okay. So, I'm on it. Does anyone know if this thing has ears? No. Flossie, okay. keep talking to it on the off chance. Okay. Oh, that's how you want me to piss it off. You want me to talk into its head? If you can. I can try. Okay. okay. You're going to psychically communicate with a spacecraft. I, well, if I can get its attention through communicating psychically, then I could perhaps side blast it. So. 
Right, so, okay. Yeah, but I could also so, melt its brain. I need Flossie to give me a piloting roll, mm -hmm. and I need Flossie to give me a psychic ability roll. Okay. I don't know. Tell me. You know your skills. We'll try. We'll do, we'll do a telepathy. And, uh... What does the shampoo in the shower smell like? Ass. <laughs> no, we're, we're that was unexpected. Yes, it was. 32, all right. Let's see. Wow, that's a lot of force. That's why I fly. The limit of my skill set. Mm -hmm. Nobody's even asking me who actually has points in xenology. So <laughs> that's a 22. If, if the hermit spread has ears. You haven't volunteered this information either. True. All right. Probably not something you just volunteer. By the way, guys. It well, has I mean, ears. I just put out everyone. It doesn't have ears. Okay. Still waiting. <laughs> So, okay, so Hintal's flying around close enough to the crab. Flossie is distracting it just enough to, to keep it away from the irritated badger. At this point, Gideon uh, calculates the trajectory for the missiles and launches the missile. However, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh -oh. did not roll high enough. So, uh, let's see. The, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one, guys. So the missile actually, it doesn't completely destroy the gas station, but it does go through the bathroom. <laughs> so we're going to smash cut real quick to about five minutes into the past. Ren, you are taking a shower <laughs> in this disgusting as hell oh, oh, gas station. Very important detail. Yes, that's what I was getting at. Are you still wearing your arms? What they mean? Aren't they waterproof? No, she has to. She no, they they, has they are waterproof. They're water resistant. Flossie okay, usually so you does can that. Shower, but not take a bath. I mean, I would expect <laughs> because you know we've had to swim and stuff. Right, you're gonna yeah. obviously but walk around in rain. In somewhere. order. To make them last. You gotta longer. wash the stubs. Okay. You know, so prevent it. Yeah, and the sweat gets in there. Yeah. So like take one at a time off, you know, type deal. Scrub the contact. If Lossie is not there to wash my back, then yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. With my loofah. So you're sorry, you're I stole it. So you do have your arms on you. Just one. 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 Your right arm, so you're, you're somewhat armed. Okay. okay. <laughs> Partially <laughs> armed. So you got your, your right arm on, and you're, you're brushing up your hair, and you're taking a shower, and all of a sudden this missile <laughs> comes shooting through the wall, and then out the other wall, and you know, it all happens so fast, but you do have enough time to stop and think to yourself, it's like, I recognize that missile. <laughs> Um, and then the vacuum takes hold. As yeah, the claxons go off and space vacuum uh, starts to, to suck everything out of this bathroom. When, what do you do? I grab a hold of anything okay. that I can. What's left for me to grab hold of? Okay. Maybe a bar. Uh, yeah. You know. like the, the, oh, one of those, uh, like those handicap yeah. bar things mm -hmm. for, yeah, in the shower? Sure. So Perfect. you're holding on to that and you're... And I'm going to try to grab... My s other arm. <laughs> I grab my sword before my other arm. <laughs> oh, but I can't because I'm holding on. <laughs> yeah, you might want to grab feet. Feet my feet. 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 I have feet. Yeah. I'm gonna grab it so with my feet to, because it's in a loop thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're trying to grab your, uh, your sword. A firm grip on your lady boner. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My sword so, is called lady boner. <laughs> and it also what it, better name? It can collapse into like a bandolier kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you are trying to find, like, your sword that's in belt form and, and try to grab yes. onto it with your feet. So I need you to give me an agility and grab with your feet roll. Agility isn't... Know, would that be grab? wrestling? <laughs> what would that mean? I don't have wrestling. Um... No, didn't we give her uh, wrestling? Yeah, didn't you wind up with brawling? Somewhere? Yeah. I have brawling. No, we gave you wrestling or brawling. Yeah, brawling. I don't know if brawling would... Uh... I'm brawling with it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> She's grappling it with her feet. I'm... 
Sure. I. <laughs> the, the audience yeah, just said that you can use brawling. I'm using it. You can roll it. You can spend luck if you want. I will spend the luck. Might be a good idea. Yeah. Okay. okay. I guess this might be important. Go bloom. Um, 14. 19. No. Roll that six. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sixes explode when you use luck in this. 24. Oh, good. <laughs> so, okay. You, actually, you managed to, you're holding on to the, the handicap bar in the shower. The vacuum is, is trying to suck you out. You, you reach out with your foot. You loop your foot around Lady Boner, your sword. I guess you, you activate the trigger Swing. and it stiffens. <laughs> you activate your lady boner, and now you have a sword that's in between your feet. What are you going to do with it? Fight the vacuum. <laughs> Fight the vacuum. I have no idea. <laughs> Holding my breath, naked. <laughs> Must be Tuesday. Your arms? Must be Tuesday? Swords, or is it just... A no, it's just a sword that um, it collapses into like a bandolier okay. and then they become. So she probably had it hanging up on the hook Can we make that with her thing? pants and. I'm thinking of uh, Q1000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her other arm. <laughs> My other no, arm. I, <laughs> I, I think we should explore that. T1000. What? Okay, is the door still there? You the door is that. there and it is locked. <laughs> there's a hole, there's a hole there's in a the hole wall. wall. There's a hole in this wall. There's a hole in the other wall. And you just saw your arm get sucked out. Okay. Uh, but oh. once, once, um, once everything depressurizes, I won't be That's being right. sucked out That's anymore. Right. And I'll be able, but I still You'll need to hold my breath. Sucking hard vacuum. Yeah. Yes. You better get I'm that like, suit I'm on. Like get it, well, it got blown away. No, the arm did. did the, uh, well, is the my, suit. Are my clothes still there? Is my helmet still there? Is my roll. suit? <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Six. I can donate a luck. Six. I can donate a luck die to that. You're not close enough. No, there's no, there's no think, distance on it. I don't think it. he could do a luck for luck. That yeah. sounds accurate, but I'm not. Sure. No, no, no. <laughs> Besides, it, it amuses. I think it, it's more fun that Rain is completely buck ass and naked. <laughs> in vacuum. The floor, running around in space vacuum. <laughs> space vacuum in the I'm going to open up the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, because I'm strong. It's what I do. Yes. Give me a strength roll. And a luck. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I'm normally That's a great very. Role. I'm disoriented. I'm. This cold. normally doesn't happen. I promise. Sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> this door is just so tough. Cold. I didn't know what to do. I was in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold in vacuum. <laughs> Actually, uh, two things. Actually, uh, this this bathroom is kind of shitty, so the doors are not that fortified. So. I was going to say you need to beat a 15 anyway. And number two, somebody on Twitch is going to draw fan art of this fun little man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes! Whoever you are on Twitch, I love you. <laughs> hey, I should log into Twitch. Oh, All man. Right. So uh, you just... Because what better so way are you, are you hitting it with the sword, or are you just, like, bashing it down with your I'm fist? bashing it down with my fist. So you just bash it down with the fist, and you step through, and as soon as you step through the door... Finally, the, the gas station systems are alerted to the presence of vacuum, and the blast door closes behind you. So there you are, wet, <laughs> naked, one arm, sword. sword, walking out there, and Kevin is just kind of, he's got a mop, and he's like, pumping by the beers, and just turns up, looks at you, shrugs, and just kind of goes back. Kevin is a good I like that, no. that Chad also forgot I'm still in the gas station. Certainly That's they true. must okay. have. You were in the ship. No. no. Oh, you're still in the gas station. He's still yes. there. Okay. okay, well then you see a naked a naked one-armed Rin step out of the bathroom. I mean, he's a doctor, so this isn't shocking. So I guess, oh, so maybe, maybe he also Zeke knows was you. talking to Kevin yes. and Kevin was pretending to listen, but still mopping. Yeah, Probably. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right, so you see your crewmate in this state. <coughs> Um, where are your clothes? In space? <laughs> <laughs> I need a space suit. Well, good news. Uh, and an arm. <laughs> <laughs> the arm. The arm's going to be harder to replace, but uh, Hental left his space suit behind. <laughs> <laughs> so here's that. It might be a bit snug. <laughs> <laughs> In certain places. <clears throat> 
he's not no well, actually because Red is very muscular and very tall. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. she's got like a foot and a half on me, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Uh, but but this is the future, like so this is six. one size fits all. They stretch. It's stretchy. They're stretchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the Spider-Man suit. Yep. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Rock of Spazcar branded space suits. <laughs> well, that is true. This gas station would sell. And yeah, no, we're not buying clothes at the gas right? station. We're going to double the bill and we're going to pay for this place to run for two years now. <laughs> well, no, they, aren't they going to, like, give us a steep discount for killing right. the hermit sprout? <laughs> true. Kevin needs hosts to lay his eggs in. I mean, come on. Duh. Well, <laughs> so, okay, so you're putting on a Hental spacesuit. Hental okay. will probably volunteer. So, you're, it fits. You're fine. Don't knock um, it it's, it. one of the, it's, it's a little loose on one side. Running <laughs> 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 out. Right. It doesn't know how to shrink down to nothing. <laughs> Kevin, you got any It looks like tape? this, like one arm here. <laughs> Spuck tape. What, Spuck tape. What is going on? <laughs> you take so down the one arm. Why, why did we blow up the bathroom? <laughs> well, I, actually, I have well, no idea. You look outside the the glass windows, which are, uh, everything on the front of it is glass. You see there's the irritating oh, yeah. badger. You see now two now gigantic claws trying to gra- trying to bite onto one of our shuttles that's flying around, and there's like blaster fire going off in the air. And so it's just like a, a normal day. Yeah. Uh, really. Hermit scrap. Why are we trying to kill it? This is its home. Because you get a discount. Uh, because the gas station wants to charge us 30,000 credits for a bag of chips and 10 slur- Slurpees. <laughs> and fuel. And fuel. No, the fuel was on a different account. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, and it tried to, it tried to crunch the ship. Right. Don't forget that. And then the, the Hermit scrap also attacked the ship before we sealed the deal on... Actually, fighting it for the discount for the groceries. We're on its home. Of course, it's going to attack us. Why don't we just leave? Because we're still fueling up. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. It seems like it should be reversed with the doctor. And the <laughs> <laughs> You'd think. <laughs> Not on this ship. <laughs> we still don't know what he's a doctor of. <laughs> Nobody does. But he doesn't know. He just doctor, wings it. Doctor. He's got, <laughs> I got my doctorate in evil. <laughs> I didn't spend six well, years at evil medical school to be Mr. Thank you very much. We know what he's not a doctor of, and that is medicine. medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think the original concept for the character was half pharmacist, half uh, um, traveling salesman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pharm- <laughs> pharmaceutical representative. So That's great. <laughs> Alright, so... The doctor of drugs. <laughs> so this is going... So the, the shuttle crew, you guys are distracting it. You're doing a pretty good job. You rolled well enough. Yeah. Um, we were accomplishing had things, little guys. Arguments. Uh, Ren, are you doing anything useful? That's my pilot face. <laughs> no. No? Go hit it with I, your sword. <laughs> I've got... She has moral objections to I that I can't hear you. My calm flew out in the space, so... <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. Did you say something? I can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> everybody else who has a communicator is like, so I may have missed with the missile. <laughs> so uh, Rin just emerged naked and wet from the bathroom. <laughs> happy for you? <laughs> no, I think the two events might be related because there's, because there's a vacuum warning going on in the gas station right now. Oh. How badly did you miss? I, I may have hit the gas station. Well, <laughs> good news, it didn't explode. Well, that's good. The space station stands. <laughs> <laughs> Just not the bathroom. There's an explosion in the distance. Well, that's on a delayed timer. Good. Fire again. Don't hit us. Sure. <laughs> okay. Are hey. we done fueling? No. Well, we're getting there. The is it possible? Is very sluggish. Is I can't it possible hear you. to lock a missile onto the shuttlecraft? And then I use defensive <laughs> flying to have the missile hit the, 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 the hermit's craft. What if instead, though, just throwing this out there, the missile no, is going no. flossy? What? What? <laughs> you know, because it's locked on to you guys. On accident. Listen, I'm going to hit the brakes. The brakes. It'll fly right by us. Okay. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. So you want? Let's, 
So you want... I want the missile... I want to guide the missile in, essentially. So you want the missile to be locked onto you, and you're going to steer it. Yeah, so we oh. don't... Is that something that's possible? Veto? This is a space <laughs> opera, so yeah. <laughs> yeah this is... Yeah. This it's in the heart of the dice. This, this, <laughs> may, also the be, this may also be uh, the shortest live show we've ever done. <laughs> I'll roll up a new character. <laughs> you had a really great idea for a space wizard, right? <laughs> he <Jedi>? actually <laughs> rolled over a 20, so... Yeah, the, uh, your your console lights up with alerts saying that there's a missile lock on you. Okay. And Gideon's like, I I think it worked. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna fly at the the hermit sprab and attempt to. Okay. Fuck die. All right, give me some fancy rolling. Uh, Come on, die hard, dice don't fail. Don't forget that being within twenty feet of the ten is an extra. Flossie dollar. is <laughs> singing to the hermit sprab inside its head. While shooting at it with the um, laser gun. What are you singing? Defensive. Yeah, what song? My little hermit sprout <laughs> is the cutest sprout, little sprout, little oh, sprout, little yeah, sprout. Like I'm playing my own drinking game here. It likes that song. I have a battery likes being shot at. I can't tell. And Steven won't get that reference. No. That's true, he won't. <laughs> I won't. Hey, does 44 work for this maneuver? I used Damn a lot well of better. and my six has exploded. <laughs> he watched. I did. I heard them rolling. It's <laughs> <laughs> a 44. I, yeah. Um, <laughs> it may have worked a little too well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, which, which one of you on the shuttle has the lowest luck? Current luck. Probably me. What do you have? What is it? Uh, well, I have three normally, and now I'm down to two. You're down to two? Well, Flossie, what well, you have? Oh, wait, the, the add di- three to that, because I, I neglected to count for my defensive flying. So you Add three to 44? Yeah, yeah okay, so sure. it's 47. The dice total or the luck total? Uh, luck, your luck pool total. Okay. It's, again, dice or luck? The pool, the actual yeah. dice. Okay, the not dice, the, so that's the three score. then. Yeah, okay. I have two, because I burned two. one. So you roll two dice for your luck. You succeed, Wait a second. but we'll see if there's any unforeseen fallout from this. Overachiever, maybe they'll, ch- they'll uh, accuse you of Five. We'll name something nice after you. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you were originally planning on doing <coughs> was having the missile hit the claw, I'm assuming, to get the to damage the claw, right? Well, so I want, yeah, the claw or the, the, the hermit sprout. Right, just to, to hurt it enough to where it, it stops Probably swinging Probably grow you, back. Right? Yeah, so you succeed in that. Okay. However, the uh, because we've never actually encountered a hermit scrap before, the, uh, the the warhead loadout on this affects it in a weird way. Of course it does. What happens to a hermit scrap when it's hit with a with a ten megaton missile? It floats up into space. All right. It gets shunted from its home. So it gets it gets Aww. hit so hard that it kind of shrinks up a little bit and lets go of the shell and gets sucked out into space. <laughs> Also, perhaps blows a hole in it that creates a bit of a vacuum and sucks the shuttle into the scrap. <laughs> Wouldn't <laughs> the scrab get sucked at the out into the space vacuum? It's yeah. a whole lot of sucking going on right now. <laughs> I have been saying that for a year and a half. There's a whole lot of sucking going on in this show. All right, so uh, so the the hermit crab. Relaxes or something, whatever it does, and it just kind of lets go of the outer shell of this moon, and you see like, this enormous mass just kind of like floating out into space. Yeah. Although I will say that the hermit sprab was probably keeping the shell of this moon like you know in the shape that it was in. So I think um, geology was doing that. And Shrug. gravity. Physics. <laughs> Physics is a thing. Spoid. Spoid. It's another It's sprout. It's on fire! So, sprout. Oh no! Does so, sprout ignite that quickly what too? What happens when the hermit sprout is gone? What happens to the moon? Is it stable or not? Uh, uh, I think we should roll something. If it's even, it stays regular. Like if it's odd, it. I like, <laughs> I like these. What's your name? My name is Maddie. Maddie? 
Evan. Evan and Maddie and Evan. Okay. Remember those names. So We're naming characters character after you. Good idea. So, what was it? What, what were the even or odd? What were, what were the outcomes? So, even is nothing happens, odd and implodes. Nothing happens. Aha! <laughs> Structural integrity maintained. And so, so Rin and Zeke, you see this from inside the station. You see that the sprat getting sucked out. And there's Kevin, looks over at you, Zeke, says, Well, I guess you get a discount. Good. Good to have you one, right? Was it oh. worth it? I'll find a new home. <laughs> what? Slowly floats out into space, gets sucked into a black hole. It'll it's find a new home on the other side of the black hole. hole. Yeah, okay, it'll get ejected out of a white house. Yeah. It's got smooshed. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a similarity. Now it's the size of a normal hermit crab. And because of the weirdness of space time out here in space, it actually <coughs> ends up landing in some kid's fish tank about 3,000 years in the past. Yeah. Hey, isn't there like a technical jargon thing we can roll for yeah, to can explain we do that? that? Can we do Ooh. science? Doing a science? Thing. We yeah. should do a science. I don't, I don't think that applies to this. Why? The I thing was from moon sized to tiny fish tank sized. Is there no doing a physics? No. There's no uh, physics. That's oh, well. unfortunate. We oh, need well. to make our own chart. I have my dice. Let's roll a d20 and see how much smaller, like if, it's, if it shrinks down, if it's like... <laughs> Sure. The audience demands it. The audience demands it. One of us. One of us. Oh, Can I the percentage of its size it shrinks oh, down? Yeah. Oh, my God. From so moon crazy. size to... I believe this. We have, like... I can roll xenology to find out, you know, if this is just part of the normal life cycle of hermit scraps, right? Sure. Yeah, right. Yeah, you guys have spread dates for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, did the am I rolling the percentage? I'm not touching her dice. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't touch her. Right. No, Steve, don't do it. <laughs> He's cursed. No, there's like a whole plot line. 28. <laughs> 28%. Yes. Yes. It, it shrinks down. To, to, to 28 percent of its yeah. size, approximately okay. a quarter yeah. of its so size. It's about a quarter of its size. A quarter Thank of a you. moon. It goes from moon size to smaller than moon. Size. Size. <laughs> That's a hermit's crab. That's a really big so fish tank. It, it crushes yeah, little Timmy's small. aquarium. <laughs> it crushes <laughs> little Timmy. <laughs> little Timmy's school. Little Timmy's neighbor. That he was biting. And probably so, plunges the Earth into a new ice age. So it's not yeah. the Earth; it's another planet. Some yeah. other planet in the dirt. They're at three thousand years to year twenty twenty three, and the, sort of this crazy event of this yeah. giant. We'll explore that uh, in our next live show. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the the scrab threat is gone. And why is why is Steve rolling? Xenology. Zen oh, okay. Would you roll? <laughs> 18. Well, then 18. Yeah, yeah, they don't normally do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Science Man. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's it's like insane and dangerously reckless to actually put a fueling depot on a shell of one of these things. Right. Really? It's just, it was an oversight. Yeah, yeah. you know, maybe the... They, Sweet location, there's, a, there's a planning commission somewhere that I'm going to have very stiff words with. Stiff words. Stiff yes. words. <laughs> Make sure you bring Lady Bone. I'm going to write. I'm going to write a very turgid letter to them. <laughs> <laughs> this is sounding like bad libs now. <laughs> Do a better business bureau. Of space. <laughs> better <Spenner's> business bureau. <laughs> <laughs> so the threat is gone. <laughs> Christ. What Jesus is Christ. the what's the crew gonna do now? So Drink my Slurpee once I get back to the irritated badger. You find Rin's arm. Right, we're not worth thirty thousand credits. No, no, it's only five thousand. Oh, oh, well, okay. It's a good discount. It really is. Yeah. Right, well, I mean, you know, there's there's some damage to the moon that happened, so not our fault. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's debatable. <laughs> Yeah. The bathroom needed to be rebuilt before we got here. <laughs> this is You're not wrong. Right. It's right. an improvement. Can you see that? Also, I'm going to talk to you guys, talk to him about putting up a um, Megatri auto dock vendor 
here, which may draw in more customers. Because Megatry is the corporation that you work for. Right. And so. you're a pharmacy rep of Megatron. Yep. Yeah. So while you're talking to Kevin and everything, he, he does the he finishes with the mopping, puts the mop in the bucket, pulls up his well, he's gelatinous, pulls up his overalls. His sweet <laughs> pants. And he, he goes over to the bathroom and puts a out of order sign on it. <laughs> <laughs> um do you set up like a little stand of no dos of like <laughs> <laughs> No, what was it? Pet pills. No dos and uh, pet pills. Yeah, the pet pills and uh, <laughs> like alcohol swabs so that you don't have to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> little space amphetamines? Yeah. Spamphetamines. Spamphetamines. <laughs> we need to find Rin's arm. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, there we go. That's a new adventure there. Um, there's no atmosphere, so it's it's, it's gone. Well, the good news is it proceeded at a well, relatively no straight trajectory. But there's trajectory. Actually, now that the hermit scrab is gone, there's mm -hmm. less mass to the moon, so now the yeah. moon has zero gravity. Not but zero. It was, everything was moving Micro. pretty quick. Everything though. has Micro gravity. gravity. So, so who knows where the hell that arm is? Well, um, yeah, but physics will help us with that. Sure, they will. And uh, so will our and, sensor suite. And yeah. Ren's walking around in your spacesuit, kind of squishing around because you didn't dry yourself off. So there's a lot of squeaking going on. <laughs> well, all of the water was basically sucked off of me. It was me frozen. And fro off. Yeah. Well, <laughs> You're like, combination of both. Filled with ice. Cubes. So. <laughs> all right. Okay. So who's gonna look for Ren's arm? I'm gonna go to the sensor ooh, suite ooh. and look for Ren's arm. Okay. There we go. Yeah. And so you're gonna. Okay. So are you going to go outside of the ship and look for the arm? or No, I'm thinking I'll use the shuttle. I think it would have to be hyperphasia. Okay. Kind of fly because around and look for it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, well, that's okay. Oh, that's that's that. What? So you, well, well, you, you, no, went, wait, you left to go drink some more slur Slurpees. And to the sensor suite to find To the Rinzar. sensor suite, which is out of that shuttle into the ship. So you dock with the ship, and then you leave, and Flossie hops in the pilot and you see Motherfucker. And fucker. <laughs> in the shuttle. <laughs> Flossie, what are you doing? Looking, Looking for the arm. Flossie. Flossie. What? Don't. Don't. Just calling don't. out the we, ship. We, we. <laughs> <laughs> Flossie, Flossie, what? we look with our sensors, not with our shuttles. This thing has sensors. <laughs> not the sensor suite that this thing has. The sensors it, on the ship are superior, but you still do have sensors. So, both of mm. you give me a, uh, <laughs> a logic and computers role to use the sensor suite. Flossy have any logic? Uh, <laughs> Pintol gets a bonus of two since he's using the superior sensor suite. <laughs> two dice. Two dice. Two dice. Two dice. See? Two. Okay. <laughs> Can I use my teaching on this one? <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. Yes! <laughs> like, Come here, Gideon. This is a teaching moment. 22. Okay. I'm using a luck die. Okay. Let there be sixes. Mm. Don't you have an exploit where you can just make dice explode for the hell of it? Yes, but I'm debating whether I want to use because it or you're not. Young and stupid. Yes, young yes, the young and stupid exploit. Right. <laughs> How old is your character supposed to be? She just turned twenty. Okay. Yeah. Young and stupid. Is that, is the other alien species age slower or they they're they're long lived, so they're um, it, it would be similar to elves so she's in a way. Out of 800. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, that makes sense. so like eight. A she's a fucking eight. Scale is yes. Yeah. She's an adult, thank you. <laughs> we live with a toddler. <laughs> it's the giant ball pit yes. inside the walls of the ship. What, what this is, is really odd like, is the effect. 19! So you got a 19, what? you got a 22? Yeah. Yeah, you find the arm first. Who hey. does? Me. That's all. Oh, However, okay. you're the only one out there and is mobile. Flossie, so. do you see these coordinates? Yes. Go there. Okay. What's over there? The arm. <laughs> Sweet! You found it? Yeah. Awesome, on my way. Okay, great. So you fly to those coordinates. Fly in the ship. How are you, how do you plan on retrieving ship. this arm? Um. Well, I mean, technically, she never got out of her spacesuit. 
It's full of Splurpy, but it's, it's <laughs> the the, the, the but syrupy it's, sugar she texture she actually her stuck. Leave it. She, it's, it's not, not the cold it anymore. You know what I mean? So she actually can't get it off until we wash the suit. Yeah. Yeah, it's, so, but it's not cold anymore. It's, it's all melted. And right it's all the way down to her feet, toes. And she's not very tall like either. She's only nice. four foot nine. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a toddler. <laughs> no, that's as tall as she's going to get. Yeah, the species maxes out at five feet. Yeah. Okay, so are you going to... How, how, how are you going to grab this arm? There's many ways you can do it. So where is it, though? It's, is it just... On the ground? You Is there anything around it? And, you go to those coordinates and it's actually, you see it tumbling around in space. It's not breaking gravity, but it's still kind of like drifting around. And Bryn thinks really hard. Oh, arm does that. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me, would you? you no, know, that's just how she always thinks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, did we ever install grabby claws on the... Give me a luck roll. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. <laughs> totally didn't do that. <laughs> Ten. They're not very strong claws, so they always drop everything. <laughs> also, we gave it was a ten, and maybe we goes, we had them installed on the baby's <laughs> land. So, <laughs> so we we cheaped out. We actually cheaped out and got the cheapest model of the grabby claws. Yeah. So you have to like maneuver it just like right. a joystick, and then it does that, but it's only got like three fingers. So when it grabs on it, it it like drops it. <laughs> So you gotta do that a couple of times. It's not magnetic? No, no. it's not magnetic. That costs money. <laughs> we broke it. Yeah. We just spent $5,000 on Sporpies. I mean, it was so worth it. We are not the most so responsible okay. So, can I... That's Sporpie, man. <laughs> can I get the claw around it to just hold it still? And then tie off and park the shuttle, and then climb out and hang get on, it and on, bring it on. back in. I got in. a crazy notion here. Crazier than that? Yeah. Oh. Like I'm just just spitballing here. Hear me out. Okay. Don't don't you have telekinesis? <laughs> hey, how much does your eye play? Just throw it out there. I thought it was too heavy. It's five pounds or less. Okay. It's in like near zero g. We said right. So there's it goes off weight, not mass. Yes. <laughs> Although she's still gonna do the climb out and get it there. <laughs> She'll just use the telekinesis for the last bit where she, like the cord is it's, it's too short. She cheats to move the claw over it. Oh got it! Did you guys see that? Chad, Chad, please. <laughs> Pass this to Steve. He needs he needs his coping mechanism. <laughs> Me too. Here's some podcasting Here. juice. Oh, oh thank you. Mother of God. Find out what's in it. Probably water. <laughs> Is it alcohol? Toad's water. No, it's mostly backwash. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Delicious water. Very watery water. Really. <laughs> It's wild turkey in there. Jesus yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, water. It's totally water. Mm -hmm. We're not Medicaid. Don't yeah. judge me. So we're not awesome. drinking in a game store. Yes. I just, I just want you to give. Oh, please, give me a um, an agility and computer roll. All right. And just, we'll see how long this takes you. Wait, does she have gaming? This is just like a game. Do you have gaming? Well, computers, you know. She gamer girl. <laughs> Surprisingly, Rin is the gamer on board. So. Usually the, the athletic ones are closet gamers. You don't have enough closets for gamers to watch of anything, really. Flossie claimed them all. Then <laughs> 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 we actually convert one into a meat locker? Yes. yes. Uh, Flossie's no, room. Flossie's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> So what'd you yeah, roll? so uh, that would be a 23, a 23 to get as long as the cord will go and then use telekinesis for the last of it and to get it. As it as you oh. So it takes two hours for you to do this. <laughs> <laughs> then you finally you, you, you land the shuttle, you, you got the arm clamped up, you, you spacewalk your way out there, then you use telekinesis to pull it toward you. Yeah. <laughs> Flossie, do you have the Holding the hand and skipping back to the shuttle. 
Pretty Lossy, much. Lossy, do you have the claw yet? Hey, yep, gonna... I got it. Do... Okay, okay. That was a long time. It was really fun. I space walked, sort of. Climbed, the crawled. The constant chattering has stopped. Can't you just I just spilled just... my Splurpee. You're right. Can't you move things with, with your mind, though? Well, but I did. Why didn't you just leave with that? <laughs> it wouldn't have been fun. It wasn't as much fun. <laughs> She's not going to admit that she forgot she was psychic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at that again. It's a kind of psychic. I mean, look, she didn't see that coming. All right, uh, so you go back to the shuttle with Rin's arm. Mm -hmm. Now... Scratching her back with it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you go back to the ship immediately, or what? I don't know. Is there anything cool and shiny over here that would distract her? Just Rin's arm. Other than that. My pants, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> my shoes? Ooh, ooh. Luck roll. Let's see if Rin's clothes slap her in the face while she's Oh, yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a high luck or a low luck. <laughs> it's real lucky for Rin. Okay. Flossie would consider that lucky. <laughs> Twelve. You get slapped in the face with some pants. Hey, Rin, I found your pants. I still can't hear you. Yes, you can. It's in your head. Oh. Now she remembers she has mental powers. I don't think she uses the electronic so, communicators anyway. No. So Flossie's out and exploring everything. So this it took her two hours to do this. What is the so in two hours the, the ship is refueled. <coughs> the ship is fueled. We're done. What are the rest of y'all doing in two hours? <laughs> Oh, I was Mark. eating in the truck stop. In the truck stop? So, okay, there you Naked go. in Hentel's space suit. No, no, no. She's just wearing I'm, the space suit. She takes the helmet suit. off and now she's eating. I'm just going up and down the aisles. Just eating stuff? Eating. <laughs> no, no, one-handed. So, no, no. Kevin's like, you, you got to <laughs> pay for that. Do we, Kevin? No, I don't think so. Bags, <laughs> right. there's that's, that's the, in this if suit. there's no body and there's not a murder defense, yeah. right? Yeah. Where's the body? Why would you never go on a trip with either one of them? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait till we have a space druid. Oh my goodness. Space druid. I use lightning, by the way. Nice. <laughs> lightning powered space druid. Screw it. Alright. Um, so. Uh, so Rin is gnawing on stuff for two hours. Uh, and Tal and Zeke, what are y'all doing? Well, he's in the shuttle with... No, that's not the sensor suite. Uh, and oh, now, you're, still, you're on the ship with Gideon. Yeah, we, we can, can go, go watch movies, movies and drink Slurpees and eat Slurpee. We're watching ancient movies from the 1980s era. Of Mortal Earth. Kombat! We're watching Mortal Kombat and drinking Slurpees. With that sweet soundtrack. I've almost got Kevin's signature on the... Uh, Mega try auto bend. There it is. Give me a persuasion roll. Also, hands off. Do you want me to help with that? <laughs> well, what were you last yeah, time? You might need to. Showing? Well, then I'll be a little spoon this time. Okay, okay. trade off. There we go. All right. So, getting your hands all are tricky. Is it actually a persuasion, a persuasion skill? Uh, we got bluffing, cruising, intimidate, flirtation, leadership, negotiating is where it falls under. Negotiating, there we go. Mm. So zero dice for that. <laughs> <laughs> How are you a salesman? Shut <laughs> 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 uh, up! No, zero we don't dice do for that. Of the <laughs> I have zero dice in all of them. Although I, I should have one <laughs> die in pure. Well, doctor of Persuasiology. <laughs> 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 I'm not that kind of doctor. <laughs> it just means I know a lot about Patrick Swayze. <laughs> But I can use one of my exploits to substitute logic for any other mental attributes, so I'm going to get four dice on this roll. Okay. <laughs> so you're using your brain to convince them. <laughs> Isn't that basically what this whole this thing... Nasty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 16. Um, Just out of wait. four dice... Oh, and Rin was going to help... I'm going to come up behind him. Oh, no. And wipe all the cheesy powder off my hand, and swing, and get my sword. I'm going that was to be completely so anti-traumatic. Yeah, do the, do a, a yeah. proper. Give come me on. an intimidation I'm, roll. I've got. I'm sticky. 
I have one arm. You can still I'm swing like, like a mad woman. I'm like getting diabetic or something from all the snacks. <laughs> I'm like hot and jittery. Okay, so I'll give you a plus two dice bonus to that intimidation roll. I've got like orange dust all over my mouth. <laughs> Is she rolling the intimidation or do I get the dice? No, she's rolling the intimidation. Rolling and I will adjust the final roll because this amuses me. 27. Oh, shit. <laughs> Plus my 16 negotiate. Did you use luck? No. So, uh, between the efforts of Dr. Arthur Zico III and Ren Hudson, the mm. one, fist, one armed with tank. A giant sword who likes to threaten gelatinous people, apparently. Between the two of them, so Kevin agrees to, to talk to his superiors and have them sign off on a Megatron. Thing. However, because Rain rolled so high, Kevin also agrees to one other small additional concession. What is it? Space sex dolls. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Those listening at home, <laughs> space sex dolls. Add space on the side of their ship. The what? Add, add space on the side of their ship. And add space. Well, no, mm. Kevin agreed to it, not. Uh, the only art allowed on the air so, bag so is the air bag. Only so these be gelatinous cube based sex dolls. So not only does Kevin agree to to sign the paperwork and stuff for a a Megatron licensed vending machine, he also agrees to having. Uh, Mega Tri licensed sex toys. <laughs> They're therapeutic. It's They're therapeutic. Yes, it is. It is. It's it's, like totally is. it's a healthy thing. It's um. <laughs> now I'm thinking about remember remember when we were kids. Whoa 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 whoa. <laughs> well, this is two ways this is going. It's fucking glorious. <laughs> Remember when, uh, you know, long, long time ago, you'd go to stores and at the cashier, they had like those little sea cucumber things. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that's, that's what I'm thinking about right there. Mm-hmm. Which, in its own way, was a sex toy, but, you know, maybe I'm saying a little too much about my <laughs> girl <own> childhood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There'd be dragons down there. Wow. <laughs> Don't judge a grown in the world. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes, the wild, lawless self. Yeah. So, uh, With his he gets a vending machine and, <laughs> and his Megatry oh. therapeutic uh, medical grade sex toys. Yeah. Stimulation dolls. So, uh, and I'm assuming they run the gamut, the whole spectrum of many different types of species. Oh, yeah. We're from the gelatinous. And to genders. The, and gen- yes, genders. Non- a- everything from gelatinous to space crab. It's a, it's, it's a whole. <laughs> space crab. Remember, no, there was a crab species. Oh, that's right. I was right. thinking gelatinous and semi-solid sex toys all the way to the hyper-solid sex toys. Ah. <laughs> like, just are fucking a brick at some point. <laughs> igneous, <laughs> igneous species. Igneous. 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 igneous species? Oh, God, you're igneous <laughs> sex doll. <laughs> so so don't you judge. You don't know their life. She's hot and ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alright. So, sexual. So this has gone on. This took two hours. Good. <laughs> Good. Go Good. That means we can uh, be done. Plus, are you returning to the ship or the gas station? Because Ren is in the gas station and you have her arm. Gas station, yeah. I would take it I would park the shuttle right out front and, and take it directly you to Ren. Push your way into the gas station. So yeah. after you because it took too long, Ren, you got bored, you're just threatening him with a sword, you think that's entertaining. And mm-hmm. Flossie comes it is. walking in, squishing. Look, I got your sword in your pants! And, no. No, no, arm. arm! I meant <laughs> sorry. Holding up your pants Slurpee is still hand, wearing off. And your arm in the other. <laughs> Why is it doing that? That, that's standby mode. <laughs> it's somewhere she can hang her coat. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, does your pant? do they have like belt loops on your pants? <laughs> yes. So, yeah, the, the belt loop is over the extended middle finger. She's like, woo! <laughs> okay. so I stripped down and put my pants on. 
in the middle of the gas station. And my arm. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> At this point, <laughs> you're a doctor. She washes my back. I don't. Kevin, Kevin. works at a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably but, seen worse. You know, yes. I've worked at a gas station in real life, and yes, you're right. This is <laughs> absolutely normal. You still don't have a shirt, though. Well, I have to put my arm on. Free the nipple. Fuck it. Anything, but <laughs> yeah. Kevin no. looks at you consideringly while you're doing this and says, Say, hey, uh, ever had somebody lay eggs in your stomach? <laughs> yes, do tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Shame. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I'm not into you, Kevin. <laughs> you work at a gas station. <laughs> oh. so, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> so if he didn't work at a gas station, you let him stick his ovipositor down your throat? I Don't kick shave her. Hintal had, you know, good times. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have enough information. They were good times. But From what leaving. I can remember, I was pretty drunk. And Most of your stories came from that. The guy yeah. is holding a mop. This is the best stories. I'm not talking about your character, I'm talking about the <laughs> Both. Alright, uh, don't hate the player. Uh, so, I definitely hate this game sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. So, this is your idea. Yeah, this was your doing. This is their idea! No, no, no. This yes. was your idea. <laughs> You did this to us. <laughs> <laughs> Which means that all of this is your fault, too. Show me on the dollar I'm about to touch you. Uh, <laughs> um, the hyper, hyper solidness. <laughs> uh, and here we go. Comment from uh, Twitch. Hansel's new pumice stone flashlight. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Ow! So wall pleasures. <laughs> Oh. Nothing about that sounds pleasurable. No, that's terrible. You're removing the first six layers of skin. It's good for you. It keeps it fresh. That is shiny, smooth like a baby. I do this for you, idiot. I do this for you. Oh no! <laughs> All right. So I think at this point we've we've successfully navigated the complication. You have yes. a very weird definition of successful. <laughs> okay. No way to die. True. Well. True. We got rid We're of all alive. We yeah. got the discount. We got Rin's arm back, so I, I count that as a success. Maybe we should stop while we're ahead. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, the next thing out of goodness podcast is signing off. <laughs> <laughs> so Flossie can freestyle on the mic a bunch of weird shit. While, while <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's all she needs is a talk show. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, How much Slurpee can I take with me? <laughs> it's all in your space. <laughs> no, 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 fresh in a cup so that I can have a talk show. Well, they just started a, a, a promotion since we were here for a while that moved to the next day cycle. That was their promotion where you can fill any, you bring in any kind of container that you want. Why are you giving her this option? Lossy runs into fill the fill cargo bay an and grabs a keg of like beer or something, you know. Just we can, yeah, just whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> she starts rolling whoa, in whoa, whoa. to the gas station. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> I know you have limitless amounts of chashkis in your little closet, hallway, walkway. So I don't have empty them. kegs. I just made one empty. We'll get more beer. No, It'll be no, fine. No, no, Ready? No, no, Come no, on. No, no, no. Help me get some Slurpee. No, fuck that. Give me my keg back. Give me my beer back. So, I can't give you the beer Chris, back. Listen, the kegs are refillable with beer. We do don't you have, touch the keg. We do what? have about three tons of those shitty Christmas popcorn tins. Do we still have any of the uh, hyper space But they won't keep it ornaments? cold. Wait, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Don't we have like rather sizable cargo containers? Yeah. Yeah, like the giant It'll cargo It'll stay cruise. cold yeah. if we okay. spec tape it to the outside of the ship. All right. So well, we can put it in the meat locker tape. room. This oh, is yeah. going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question about the, the chemistry between you and the Slurpees. Yes. You tried all of the flavors, but do yeah. the different flavors have different effects? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> we'll explore that later. That can be the talk show. <laughs> <laughs> Today's oh, episode is strawberry. Yeah, it's like a YouTube channel where it's like, I'm going to take a whole bunch of different Ooh. drugs and we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, really, you can't add SP anywhere on that one. YouTube. Uh, which what? YouTube. YouTube. 
Spew two. Spew two? Yeah. You no. spoob? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it sounds like you said that one just doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that one just doesn't work. Right. Right. So, so we're just going to go ahead. We actually, we are, we've exceeded our time limit here. So we're going to Sorry. go ahead and wrap up. Uh, thank you all for participating. It was we're so, so sorry. <laughs> it was that um, was awesome. I think I learned more about some some of the residents of Hillsborough than I did. <laughs> um, but before we go ahead and close up and I turn everything off, uh, just to talk a little bit more, our show, we do have a couple of sponsors that we have to mention. Uh, World Anvil. <coughs> uh, one of our sponsors of our show. Light is, up the forge. Um, yes, light up the forge. That's your slogan. And uh, they, it's a, if you ever been to the website, it's all about um, it's world building. So you can put in you know, articles about a species that you created. That you, no, keep it on. Yeah, um, Dick. You can put maps, planets, D and D stuff, fantasy stuff, sci-fi stuff. Uh, check it out. It's really great. They're a really cool sponsor. Our second sponsor is Die Hard Dice. Yay. Roll, with, Roll the best. with the best. Roll with the best. <laughs> and uh, any listener of our show, uh, or including you guys, including you guys, because you did listen to us. If you go to dieharddice.com and use our coupon code console c o n s o l e, they'll give you fifteen percent off your next order of dice. And I believe Nick, you'll also honor that here. Yes. Yes. Fifteen percent off. Die Hard Dice. Thank you, Nick. Using our code. It was Die Hard Dice that had tall dogs that missile that he Yes, and inside. all the high rolls were thanks to Die Hard Dice. And <laughs> as Steve story. has proven, yeah. Die Hard Dice are somewhat curse resistant. That yes. was also true. Yes. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> actually, when we first started using Die Hard Dice, was the first time you actually succeeded in a roll, which was amazing. But, I mean, sort of. There were lots. You of succeeded people. in an important roll. Yes. Well, <laughs> we will. Yeah. We will attach some yes. more. And well, also, uh, just a couple of things on us. So our website is chaoticgoodnesspodcast.com. Check that out. Uh, our Twitter handle is at chaotic underscore podcast. Yet we're pretty active on that. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. Our characters also have Twitter accounts. Yeah, we, we like yeah. yeah, It's weird. They're weird about this. Uh, <laughs> what's our Instagram account? Chaotic underscore goodness underscore podcast. Right. And that's... When when we do when we do our recording sessions, Kim usually posts mm-hmm. a lot of weird shit from behind the scenes. You get to see all the alcohol that we're drinking. <laughs> all the juices that I make when it's they come a lot. Weird we're right. Podcasting juice. It's, yes. <laughs> Podcasting fuel. Creativity whatever. fuel. Uh, also, uh, what else? Is there anything else? Oh Nerd Smith. Nerd Yes, our network. Uh, we are part of a nerdy entertainment network called Nerdsmith.com. Org. Org. Yes, yes. nerdsmith.org. Uh, we are just one of many, many other geeky shows. There's several other podcasts on the network. There's um, uh, well, The Land Above, which is a D&D <laughs> podcast that takes place in the underworld, and it's all the players are monsters. It's also uh, every, every participant in that <coughs> game is uh, LGBT, Q+. Yeah, so, sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a really awesome podcast. Uh, there's also uh, In Vain, In Vain, which is a Vampire the Masquerade version five podcast. Um, full disclosure, I run that one too. I'm the game master of that one. But there's different. There's, it's it's my serious podcast. It's my palate cleanser. <laughs> uh, Tell us how you really feel. Yeah. There's also, I mean, there's lots of other podcasts. There's Dear DM, which is like a dungeon mastering advice kind of podcast. There's uh, if you go to We Are Nerdsmith on Twitch, there's a ton of uh, streaming shows. We just came out with uh, Final Rights, which is a very interesting one. It is the, it's all the players, they play female tieflings that work on this boat called the Final Rights that travels down the River Styx for all eternity. And they're, it's a bunch of weird shit that goes on in that show, and it is really awesome they just did the third episode last week so mm-hmm. you can go to we are nerdsmith on twitch and go to the vod's and anything that is that we did on twitch also gets uploaded to youtube so it's there for all eternity because nothing ever leaves the internet uh what else am i forgetting uh, oh once a year we do uh nerdsmith gets together in the fall and we do our charity streams mm-hmm. uh, all proceeds that we 
we generate in a two week period. Uh, last year went to the Trevor Project, which is uh, suicide prevention for lesbian and gay teens. Um, this year we may actually do the same thing. It's pretty cool. I hope so. It was a good uh, project. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we, it's really important. Oh, we're also nerds. The network itself is very dedicated to you know, lesbian, gay, trans, queer rights, trans rights or human rights. Um, even though, you know, not everyone in the network is trans or gay, you know, we can be allies as well. Wait, you mean we're decent people? What? What? <laughs> we can be decent people? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you speak insanity, sir. Stop while you're ahead. <laughs> yes, I, I, I <laughs> oh my God, future uh, man. <laughs> we have a Discord. We do. Uh, Oh, if anybody's interested in our Discord, I can give you the, the code and stuff later. Um, and I think that's about it. I uh, hope we're Sounds not about forgetting right. anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the recording here because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take what we recorded here tonight and I'm actually going to, the next two Mondays, kind of put that up. And... Um, so be, okay, so stop that. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, with a little bit of time that we have while we're breaking down, uh, everybody on Twitch, thank you for watching. Thank I'm gonna, you. I'm going to shut you thank off you. now. Yeah, wave, wave to the camera. And hopefully I didn't embarrass Mary Smith too much, but no, well, them's the breaks. So I'm shutting this off. It's okay. They expect it. Ending stream now.